absolute most funnest time as a cat fisherman to me is when it's skipjack time and that's what time it is now um i don't think they're moved in here really thick just yet but the big ones the really big ones have moved in kind of early they're in here so i'm gonna fish for those and uh I mean, these things are just a blast to catch. You can go 10 casts in a row and get 10, or you can go 100 casts and not get one. But when they get in here, it's so much fun. So this, this to me, is one of the funnest things about being a cat fisherman right here. Every now and then, get lucky to get a double. I had two on just then, and one of them got off. Every now and then, that's a quick way to fill up the cooler. You can get doubles and triples. I'll get this one on some ice and then get right back out there because I'm sure they ain't moving far. There's just tens of thousands of thread fin in here right now. I mean, just, I threw the net once this morning and probably got 200 of them. I mean, they're just, they're everywhere in here. So these skipjack are coming in here in the spring and they're eating all the thread fin that are in here. So they'll obviously hit any lure that looks like a, a little swimming bait fish. You know, bucktail jigs, crappy jigs. Spoons, Foley spoons work good on them. Um, just anything really that looks like a like a little bait fish swimming along. But uh, when they get in here, I mean it's you can get all you need pretty quick. I need probably 150 of them or so. That'll pretty much get me through the year, depending on how much I get to fish. But, They can be absolutely fun to catch too. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, if you just wanted something to pull your, you know, something to stretch your line, you could come out here and catch them and throw them back. I mean, they're, they're that much fun to catch. But they're without a doubt, hands down, the best catfish bait that you can get. I don't think any, any real cat fisherman will deny that. A skipjack and a gizzard shad are probably Probably the best thing you can fish with. They're just really oily and they're big. You get plenty of pieces off of, you know, an average size one. And they'll let you know when, when they're around. I mean, they'll break the surface. You'll see them schooling up shad. 
I mean, they're just like a hybrid or a large mouth or or anything else. I mean, they uh, they're gonna they're gonna feed on bait fish. They're gonna school them up. They'll break the surface. You know. For whatever reason, what they're hitting right now is pink. For whatever reason, I don't know why. I've caught them on white, chartreuse, green, uh, just anything really that swims and, and looks like a little piece of bait fish, uh, chrome spoons, I mean just whatever, but for right now they're hitting pink pretty good. That's kind of the scout report I got. Some people come out here and, and started catching some, and pink is what they were using predominantly to catch them, so that's what I'm going to throw. So I didn't get any skipjack for a while and uh, I kept seeing stuff flipping around me out here out around the boat and I was like man that's skipjack you know feeding on shad on top of the water and then I got a really good look at one and I said that looks like a gizmo shad and I just said well I'll, for the heck of it I'll throw my net just right here off the side of the boat and I'm anchored right here but I can see these things flipping all around the boat. This has to be seen. Like I just threw this net, it's a 12 foot net, pancaked it right here. I don't know how many gizzard shad I got in this thing, but they're bigger than the skipjack. They are huge, they are great baits, and I just hit pay dirt on this one for sure. shake them all down to the bottom so I can get them out pretty easy. These things are huge. They make great bait. That is a haul of gizzard chad. Those things are huge. I'm probably done bait fishing. I don't know. I may throw the. I may throw for some skipjack still. But that is awesome catfish bait. All from just sitting here in the boat and just seeing them, just flipping around me, every bit of it. That is amazing. That's that's good. Right there. And those are big boys too. Every one of those are huge. I'm happy. I'm a happy catfisherman right now. So I should keep skipping fishing for skipjack, but I got 21 gizzards I had the size of footballs in the uh, cooler. So I don't know. I'm gonna keep fishing for skipjack. We'll see what goes on with that, but. This is a valuable commodity come winter time, for sure. I literally can't get any more of them in there, so I'm about to fill up the live well with water and uh, start storing them in the live well because they're still flipping all around the boat. So we'll see what goes on. I may throw again. I'll probably skip that fish for a little while longer, but that's a pile of good bait right there. That's big baits good baits <laughs> caught a few more skipjack but the gizzard shad are still flipping all around the boat so i'm gonna throw the cast net again i mean they're they're, they're still flipping everywhere so i'm gonna throw it and see if i can load up on some more of them
Well, now the work begins. I got about 40 gizzard shad, probably 30 of them are the size of footballs. So <laughs> it's gonna take up some freezer space. Got about 12 to 15 skipjack. I don't know, they wasn't really on that good, but now the work begins, going home freezing all this stuff up. But I don't know, got some bait for a little while. That's 75% of the battle right there, so proud of that. So 